And a good day, everybody. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another rambling edition today. We're looking at a OK Tropical IPA from our friends at Avondale Brewing in Birmingham, Alabama. 7.2% ABV. Picked this up today, the other day, at Rouse's. And Rouse's, for some reason, has gone up on their prices of beer, but okay. It is what it is, right? So, can't, can't explain that, but it is what it is, so. But in any event, uh, this is an American IPA style. Um, gets a good score. Interesting enough, uh, I think this beer came out, I'm guessing this is 2020, introduced this year. Yes, 2020 has been that kind of year, folks, as the pandemic, as many like to call it, or scandemic, whatever. Anyway, here's what the beer looks like. Very frothy, a lot of foam up on the top right away. Uh... But uh, tropical IPAs, we've seen quite a bit of them over the last couple of years. Um, Terrapin did the Luau. I think I just recently did that. Uh, Kona also had a sort of a very tropical fruit-based style IPA. And I believe I reviewed that as well. So Lu Luau or Knuckles, Cruckles, whatever it was from Terrapin. So, as you can see, what the beer is like 7.2%. Um, some would say, I guess it's about the about the fair ABV. If you want to say, look at IPAs, Indian Pale Ales, I guess that's kind of the right locale, location. So, right ABV. So. According to some, of, uh, again, I looked on the website for Avondale. I didn't really see much of it. Inspired by all things vacation. That's what is the, as their theme. That is their theme. So. so nice, very frothy, very full. It has some of the scents of some, not just your usual citrus, but also getting the scent of some pineapples. Uh, you know, tropical fruits, some pineapples, some pears, peaches, um, guava possibly in, in this as well. So all these interesting kiwi some interesting exotic fruits but mostly pineapple i'm getting sent for this definitely the citrus flavors are in this right away so mm. yeah i paid a little bit more for the can i was like uh i don't know but anyway i might go to greer's but then again i probably end up paying about the same price if i did went to rouse's so yeah the greer's store I go to to pay for more store, you know, the cost plus 10%, you know, got to have the 10%, 10%. So bottoms up. A drip of citrus in this. That isn't bad. Mm. There's this nice, again, as a drip of sweetness. I say honey citrus in there. Oh boy, what a day, guys. I'm sorry. I'm probably. Yeah, I'm rambling on and on, just throwing things out there. Yeah, beer, beverage ramble. Uh, there is a hint of 
again, a pineapple, uh, a term, in terms of flavors in there, in terms of the hops, you're getting that most, maybe a mosaic or centennial in this. little pine notes in this as well I mean it's decent enough guys I mean for a tropical IPA I mean, it's nice it's clean but again very very foamy which reminds me of that recreational Ale I had from, uh, I don't know if uh, Terrapin still makes that, but that was kind of, this is what reminds me of very foamy. But. Can hold its own, folks. I'm not going to go there. So, um, in the style uh, for what it is, tropical, American IPA, but. The tropical theme, as they like to like to put out there. Um, Avondale, of course, brewing is one of many brewers here. Many fine breweries here in the state of Alabama. Um, as I've said before, a lot of my videos, Bama is really beginning to have a quite a good name amongst the beer community or those outside of the state in terms of, hey, they're making pretty good beers in Alabama, you know. Brews I mentioned, the ones that are close to me here uh, by me, um, there are like four close to me, one of them being uh, Serta. Uh, then you have um, uh, back, of course, then you go uh, other parts of the state, back 40. Um, straight to ale but interestingly enough Birmingham really is where all the action is you have this brewery you have Trim Tab you have uh, Band of Brothers which is the only black owned brewery here in the state of Alabama so um, a lot of good stuff is being produced here in the state so I say folks who are all of us and those in our, our neighboring states there's you know, for, you know, um, Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, Mississippi. Yeah. Yeah. Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, Mississippi, our neighboring states. Yeah, our neighboring states. Uh, that this is really can do... So those who are visiting who like to say, or those who get our, some of our beers in the state from here, say, hey, have had, they're pretty enjoyable. So again, it's good, folks. I'm not going to go the same score as what I've seen, some of the other scores I've seen in this. I think it's all right. I think it holds its own. Um... I'm just going to go with, I think a fair score probably would be a B. Yeah, I'm going to go with B on this one. I'm not going to say A. So, nice flavor. I really like the can design. If you look at it, it's really sort of like retro 1950s, you know, <clears throat> basic, simple, nothing really extravagant, not all the this and that, but the can design is like kind of a bit in that. 19 or whatever range 1950s 40s look so pretty pretty cool so so uh anyway uh i'm gonna go with a fair score of a b on this one so so about 8.1 8.2 it's a good ipa 
American IPA, tropical, whatever they want to categorize it. Nothing to say that's fantastic, but good enough. So that is my score. B, 8.1, 8.2 score for the A-OK IPA. A-OK tropical IPA. Get it if you can try it. Hmm. John Anderson Pierre, the beverage Rambleton. Keep on watching as always. Cheers, live, laugh, and love. A-OK.